Merry Christmas 2013. Well, today's fun RC mission is going to be a drone candy drop. I'm going to use my quadcopter here on an autonomous mission to drop 30 small candy canes in this package under parachute at my son's kindergarten, which is about three blocks that way. It's uh, 500 meters or about a third of a mile. The flight will be autonomous, controlled by the APM autopilot and uh, programmed in uh, waypoints, uh, a pause, uh, the parachute drop and return to launch and land. The quadcopter you see here is, uh, has four motors, 1,000 uh, kV each, 28, uh, 26 size, with uh, 10 by 5 uh, carbon fiber props, and as, uh, uses flame wheel uh, frame design, two 2.2 uh, amp hour uh, batteries, so a total of 4.4 amp hours capacity, running in parallel. And the drop mechanism is a, a refrigerator plastic container here that I've zip tied to the bottom with a, a release uh, that's simply a little metal ring and rubber band it fits over this uh, pin, and when the servo withdraws that pin, uh, it will drop out the parachute and the candy canes. This is the FPV camera from which I'll see everything that happens as it goes live, and I have an 808 keychain camera facing downward here. Here's the 3DR uh, APM with the uh, compass and uh, GPS receiver antenna right here. The ReadyMade RC 1.3 gigahertz uh, video transmitter I'm using 1258 megahertz and an inverted V uh, antenna. The ground station here has a 5.8 gigahertz uh, retransmitter, which um, repeats the signal to the fat shark goggles here, so I can see everything that the quadcopter sees on its way to the mission, the drop, and on its way back. Now, provisional RC control will be maintained the whole time with the uh, Turning G9XR and the Dragonlink long range UHF uh, system. Here's the candy release mechanism. Uh, with the uh, payload in place, so the parachute is on top, uh, loosely folded, but with all the uh, lanyard and uh, lines uh, enclosed so they can't fall out in flight. And here's the uh, foam pad, and then, the, of course, the ever-important uh, candy canes in the bag right there. And this is uh, flush with the bottom, so it can sit flat for takeoff, and then, of course, when the payload is gone, it can land back on this rim. The parachute is a 30-inch nylon and netting of my own design and construction. Just use this hot glue around the perimeter. To join that, it's in the style of a skydiving uh, pilot chute, so it's very reliable. And this will simply be ripped open by the teacher and will give all of the uh, candy canes inside to all the happy little kindergarten kids. So now I've armed the quadcopter there. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and switch it into automated, and off we'll go. Okay, here we go. Here I am with my hands at the controls ready to take manual control of the copter at any time if needed. I programmed the path and altitude of this flight to be line of sight at all times from where I'm standing. Here the copter lifts straight up to its mission altitude of 40 meters or 130 feet on its way to the school. This exact mission was test flown on non-school days eight times prior to today's mission. I'm also on the phone at all times with my spotter at the school. Here's the downward facing view of the flight sped up to eight times normal speed. I programmed the path to follow streets for familiarity to me as the pilot. It's also good practice for eventual FAA UAV rules which will probably designate very strict flight paths. The quadcopter makes a slow pass over the field to announce its arrival to my son's kindergarten class. And here is the autonomous release of the parachute and candy canes. And the kids are obviously very excited about this. This flight was done with the prior knowledge and permission from the school. Now the copter makes the return trip by the same route. And lands right back in the cul-de-sac where it took off. And that's how it's done. Eat your heart out, Amazon. Here's the forward-facing view of the trip, which approximates what I see through the FPV camera, also sped up to eight times normal speed. 